I like to start that way. So let's just take some shoulder shrugs. So let's pull the shoulders up to our ears and then just kind of let them settle back down. And as we let them kind of settle back down, I want you to kind of think about pulling those shoulder blades like down and together. So we're already starting to activate that low back. It's almost kind of like that swan-like feel. And you're, of course, thinking about that scooped in core, those soft knees, we're not locking out of the knees. And then let's take some shoulder rolls. So just really kind of seeing how big that range of motion can be with those shoulders today. Getting those ears right above those shoulders, right above that rib cage and those hips. And then we reverse that shoulder roll. Okay, one more. Right, let's take that right ear over to the right shoulder. Feel the side of that neck stretch out. And then kind of let it angle a little bit forward. We're gonna kind of roll it through the center, bring it over to the left shoulder, left ear. And kind of let it roll a little forward. And then letting it just kind of roll through the center a few times. And then we'll do our three rolls each direction. Just warm up that head, that neck. And reverse after your three. And then. Get ready here because we're going to start with our marching today just to get us nice and warmed up. We don't need that today, so we'll throw that over there. Let's start opposite arm, opposite leg. Really thinking about those toes kind of springing off the mat. We're scooping in our belly. Our posture is super tall, so we got that strength coming from the tip top of our head, keeping our um, upper body nice and straight. We're scooping our core. I think we're marching in our very own parade here, very proudly. I'm really excited about it. As you can hear, my feet are springing off this mat. We're kind of sticking. That toe is the last thing to come up here. Once again, scoop that core, put a big smile on your face. Make sure your shoulders are plugged in. And we're going to start with that twist here too, keeping that body upright. So sometimes I like to take a pause just so I can really think about it and be intentional about my movement kind of like cactus arms for these. So we're starting with those opposite arm, opposite leg movements. Really thinking about that body being nice and upright. Kind of a spine twist feel. And you know, it doesn't really matter how high your knees are. Just, so just getting a few more. And then we're gonna start those little taps we haven't done in a while. So last one, and we're gonna tap the inside of those legs inside the shins or calves, almost like a mini crunch right there. So you can move that upper body a little bit. Let's get in one more on each side. And then we're gonna start with our little Charleston, bottom of the toe taps, bottom of the foot taps, I guess you'd say. You can hum a little tune here if that makes you feel better. Just a few more. Last ones, quick little pause. Let's take a nice wide second position. Take our right arm nice and long at our side. Left arm is gonna come up, getting that nice side stretch. Maybe we come up on our tippy toe, seeing how long we can make that body, not that squished feel. So super long, couple deep breaths. Coming out of it, opposite side. So find that nice long side and maybe come on your tippy toe. How long can you make that body? Two deep breaths. Coming out of it, find your hand weights. Here they are. Getting ready. Parallel feet today. Slight knee bend. That feels okay. Not anything crazy, just so we don't hang out in those knee joints. We're gonna work that front shoulder first. 
So what we're gonna do here is take those shoulders, make sure they're plugged in, and we're just gonna come out, right back in, out, right back in. So this is first our biceps, obviously, but we're kind of thinking about that front shoulder, keeping our arms level. Those um, front of our arms are kind of that 11, so we're not tenting them either direction. Oh, we're just getting a few more here. Last two. And last one, we're gonna pump it up. So these are our raise the roofs. Maybe we wanna come a little bit lower in our squat or you can just hold up top. Our upper body as always is super straight. So you have that tailbone kind of aiming straight, straight, straight to the ground. Maybe you get an accent while I say that, so that's fun. Just pump it up. We'll just get in five, four, three, two, one, bring out your cactus arms, right back to center. Cactus arms, right back to center. So just working, once again, still that front shoulder. You're scooping in your core. Maybe you wanna come a little bit lower in your squat. If you're trying to sit in a chair, but you're like, I don't know if it's back there. I have no idea. I might just fall over. Breathing. Keeping those arms pretty parallel to the ground when they come out in our cactus. We got five, four, three, last two, last one. Hold it here, little pulses here. So we got our kind of raise the roof in the center. Just pulse it up, scoop your core. We got five, four, three, two, one. Little hold, straighten the legs right back down, straighten the legs, right back down. So we're kind of having like a little squat moment. Working those shoulders still up, right back down. Every time we come up, we're scooping that core and really scoop it in. We're getting in five, four, three, two. Last one, hold those arms up there come out to our wide second position. So if you had a mat out, your toes are kind of pointing towards the corners of those mats. Um, thinking about those knees, tracking over the toes, you're gonna add the plie version. We're gonna bring the arms out, right back up. Out, right back up. So once again, each time we come up, we're squeezing our glutes down. Squeeze the glutes down. Squeeze the glutes, just working on our nice form. Super upright still. So if you saw me from the side, and there I'm in the mirror, that works out. Nice posture. So think about that string coming from the tippy top of your head, pulling you nice and straight, head and tailbone. We got five, four, squeeze the glutes, three, two. Last one, hold here. I want you to think about um, little pulses back here with the arms. So my hands are facing forward. We're just gonna pulse it back. Keeping that rib cage plugged in. So we're not letting that rib cage flare out. This is a tiny movement. Scoop in your belly, just a teeny little pulse back. Back, go back, 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 back. We got five, four, three, two, one. Hold the arms out there, palms face down, pulse at the knees. Once again, get that heavy tailbone. Knees are tracking over those toes. Hold the arms. I know they've been out there for a while. Just hang out with me. We got five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Woo, shake those arms out. Good job. That was like a long hold out there, right? Okay, keeping our wide second, we're gonna bring our arms kind of out to this little if we were standing straight up, we'd be a lowercase t. So I want you to first take a soft knee, obviously. Don't lock out at those knees. Squeeze the glutes. Pull the elbows in. Release. Just pull them in. Release. So each time we're pulling them in, think about that upper back hinging that penny. So we're really activating that back, that almost like mid-back range. So pinch that penny. Scoop your core each time you do that. Pinch it. Pinch that penny. Pinch that penny, 
If you want to take this a little bit, level it up here, we can come into our squat again. Pinch that penny, pinch that penny, really pinching it. We got five, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold that penny there, hold it there, squeeze in the Squeeze the glue and scoop your core and pulse it down as we squeeze our penny. Woo! We can do it. Squeeze your penny. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick break. We're going to come into our tricep moment. So let's come out to our side here. We're going to do one arm at a time because sometimes it's really nice to isolate those arms. So let's come into almost like a lunge, like a small lunge. Even hip bones though. We're gonna hinge at the hip, so you can bend in that front leg if you like. Think about, obviously, we're super straight, tip of the head to the tip of the heel, and if you need to come up on that back heel, totally fine, opposite hand is here. We're just gonna bring it right back up, down, up, down. So my palm is facing in here. My hip bones are even, my shoulders are square, so don't open up on that side. Back. back, back, we got five, four, three, two, last one, hold it up there, pulse it up, just little pulses, my palm is still facing in, pulse, 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 we got five, four, three, two, one, pulse it in, bring it in, out, in, out. So really up at that top range, just pulsing in, 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 back. I want you to think about scooping in the core, even here, straight wrists. We got five, four, three, two, last one. Palm faces up. We gonna we're gonna end here with just our little pulses up here. Different feel. I'm not gonna do a ton here. Think about that straight wrist again. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there. Hold it as high as it can get. Five, four, three, two, one. That arm comes down. Let's switch to the other side. Find your lunge, your mini lunge. Back leg can be up or planted. Hinge at the hips, square off those hips and square off those shoulders. We pulse it back, right back down. Back, right back down. Back, down, back, down. Check in with the squared off shoulders. That nice stretch in the back of your leg. Once again, that palm is facing in. Just back, down, back, down. Let's get in our five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it up there, pulse it up with the palm facing in. Up, 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 up. up. We got our five, four, three, two, one. We pulse it in, right back out. So trying to cross that back body. Want you to make sure your hips haven't opened up. You're still scooping that core in. We haven't let our head drop. Still in line. Out. Out. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Palm faces up. And in with our pulses. Check with your wrist. Make sure it's not broken. It's nice and straight. Pulse up, 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 up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there as high as it can get. Hold it there. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Great. Thank y'all. Let's put those guys aside for now. Getting a quick little arm stretch here. So let's cross that right arm over. Back behind the head, kind of bring it back here.
opposite arm. Okay, and now let's find our bar. Here it is. So as always, if you don't have a bar, you can always use a chair, a stool, a wall even, just to hold you steady. Whatever you have, a countertop works well too. So we're gonna work a little bit in our parallel today. We did a little bit earlier. So parallel feet, they're right under your hips. Still thinking about those soft knees. Um, you can come parallel to the bar if you like, if you need a little extra stability, or come out here. If you're out here, just pick a nice position for your arm. I'm gonna go right about here today. And what we're doing is we're just gonna lift up, right back down, lift it up, right back down. So once again, we're going super straight up and down, getting our calf raises in today, plugging the shoulders in. Each time we're up there, you're squeezing the glutes, scooping the core, little squeeze. And you'll notice it's not as easy to activate those glutes without our turnout. So you really have to work at it a little harder. We just got five, four, three, two, last one. We're going to hold it up there, find that nice lifted feel. We're going to scoot that upper body down about eight inches or so. So I'll come to the side just so you can see me a little bit better. So my feet are still in parallel. My upper body is super straight. We still got that heavy tailbone. And what we're doing is doing those plies here. So down for two, up for two. We're in our super high heels, just really kind of moving our back. So if we were up against a wall, we would just be going straight down and straight up. Two, little down, two, up, two. Really just working on that nice, slow movement. You might be starting a little shakiness. That's totally fine. Two, we got five, four, three, last two. Last one, we're gonna hold it down there. Little tuck, arc away. Little tuck, arc away. So these are kind of like our, our version of twerking. So yeah, we're super hip. In, out, in, out, we got five. Four, three, two, last one. Drop the heels, come up for a second. I don't know about you, but my legs are shaking like crazy. Little break, kick it out. We are gonna come right back down to that same position, but this time we're doing a little side to sides. Little sassy hip flings, if you wanna say that. So once again, find your parallel feet, come up in your super high heels, lower that upper body about eight inches, find your nice strong arm, and we're gonna do right, center, left, center. Little right, center, left, center. Just kind of isolating that pelvis today. And as you're doing this, we have that heavy tailbone once again. We're super straight in that upper body. Let's get in five, four, three, two, last one. Quick hold, hold here, five, four, three, two, one, come up, shake it out. You never thought holding would be so much shakiness, right? Tons of fun. Let's come up to the bar, facing the bar. Hips are gonna be square to the front here. We're gonna bring that right leg out to the side, bring it back kind of angled a little bit. Little external rotation feel, but I want you to have those hip bones even. So as we're here, we're just gonna do some little flutters. I want you to check in with that standing leg knee, make sure it's not locked. So just little flutter kicks as our hips are even. 
We're putting a lot of work into that standing leg. A flutter, little flutter, 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 little flutters. Scoop your core, think about that nice posture. Check in with those hips, make sure they're even. We got five, four, three, two, one. Bring that leg in, right back out. Bend it in, right back out. So kind of our side hamstring curls. Yeah. Help check in with your standing leg knee again. Back. Now we got our five. Four, three, two, last one. Hold it there. Try to find that external rotation if you lost it a little bit. Little pulses back. Just tiny little pulses. Check in with your standing leg knee again. Make sure we're not like Hulk moaning into the bar. It's just kind of there to help us keep our balance. Not hold us up there. That's up to that standing leg. Back, back, back. We got it. Four, three, two, one. I want you to hold it back there. Hold it there. Hip bones even. Right here. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. So we've got our opposite side here. So same thing. Our standing leg knee is going to be a little soft here. Squaring the hips to the front and the shoulders. That leg comes straight out to the side, little angle back. Once again, soften that standing leg knee. We got those flutters, little flutters, just little points. So my toe is kind of like hovering off the mat. It's not touching when I do my flutters. Just scoop it in that core. Flutter, 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 flutter. Just working that little spot in that loop. We got five, four, three. Two, one, we gotta bend it in, right back out. Check in with those even hip bones, right back out. Make sure we're not crunching our head over. I kind of noticed I was doing that. So it should be nice and tall to the ceiling. Down, down, go back, down, down. Let's get five, four, three, last two, last one. Hold it there. Remember, make sure you find that external rotation if you lost it a little bit. Pulse it back. Little pulses. Check in with your standing leg knee. This leg might be a little more tired than the other side since we just worked it also. That's totally fine. Check in with that hull mode on the bar. We got five, four, three, two, one. Then we hold it there. Hold it there. Find that nice leg. Five. Four, a three, two, one. Bring it down. Woo! Let's find a quick figure four. So we're going to cross our right leg over, kind of sit into it. Flex that foot. Switch out our legs here. And come up. Good job. Let's come down to the floor just so we can get a little bit of our core work in today. So coming here, we're going to start just with a couple like super slow roll downs just because they're really nice after all that fun we just had. So you can either take your hands behind your knees here or you can take the arms out. You can always keep the feet planted or if you prefer them up a little bit, that's totally fine. We're just gonna do three of these. So we're just gonna super slow, like tuck our pelvis, scoop our belly, and just piece yourself back, maybe just to that waistband, not all the way. And then coming right back up to that flat back. Kind of bring the heart rate down after all that, just because, you know, we only have 30 minutes. This is your last one. Right back up. Let's come all the way down to the mat here. 
We're going to play around a little bit with some bridging. We're going to do those walkout bridges. I feel like we've done them once before. So find a good arm position for you. Sometimes these V arms are really nice. So keeping the shoulders connected to the mat, kind of making a V with those hands, kind of flipping the palms up. And what we're going to do here is just two straight on bridges, and then we'll add those little walkouts. So feet and knees are fist width apart here. We're going to take a nice inhale. We're just going to tuck our pelvis up, finding our first bridge of the day, and then exhale yourself back down. Another inhale, tuck, piece yourself up. Exhale back down. Now, as always, you can always just hold your bridge or you can just keep bridging if you're not a big fan of the walkouts. Otherwise, we're coming up here, okay? We're gonna bring that leg out, other leg out. Bring that leg in, other leg in. So we're trying to keep our upper body up as we do fun walky things with our legs. Tons of fun, right? We're keeping our core scooped. Having the time of our lives, the back of those legs are like, oh my goodness. Let's get in five. Four, don't let your butt drop too much. We got three. These are kind of clunky. Two. Last one, let the hips up if they fell. I don't mind it. Piece yourself down here. Just one more regular bridge, inhale, tuck, piece yourself up. As you're up here, maybe you wanna come up to your tippy toes and then come back down to those flat feet and exhale yourself down the other upper back, mid back, Low back, little arc away. Great. Let's lengthen those legs out. We're going to flip over here. We're going to get in a little bit of our extension and a little bit of our super person. So we're going to come back to those little flicks, kind of like we did at the bar. So we're going to be doing those kind of up in our super person. It's a ton of fun. I know you're really excited. So find your positioning first. So we are gonna start just kind of in um, kind of a modified super person. So we're gonna stack our hands one on top of each other here and kind of place our forehead there. That kind of creates our little pillow for our hands or our head, whatever. Plug the shoulders in. So kind of pull those shoulder blades down and together. We're gonna scoop the belly, pelvic tuck, and we're gonna bring the legs not quite mat with the bar, but a little bit wider than you're used to. Let's bring them up here. So think about length here. So the legs are up in space, and we're just going to do those little flicks there. So we're still pelvic tucking. So the legs are probably like, I don't know, maybe three inches off the mat. This little flicks. It really doesn't probably look like I'm moving much, but I'm doing my little flicks out there, a little bend and straightens. Flex. Flex. Scoop your belly. So pelvic tucking, flick, 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 flick. We got five, four, three, two, one. Bring the legs down. Kind of shake yourself out if you need. Now we're gonna take that, but we're just doing the upper half and we're gonna do kind of like little rows with our arms, okay? So plant the legs down, but they're still active. So really active legs. Scoop the belly, pelvic tuck. Find your um, cactus arms here. Find your length in the back of your neck. We're gonna take a nice deep inhale, kind of bring that upper body into our extension. And we're gonna release those arms all the way up, pull them right back down. So we're pulling those shoulder blades down and together even more. So we're like swinging in the upper body, really scooping that pelvis. And think about length here, maybe not how high you can come up, but how long you can make that upper body. Let's get five, four, three, two, last one. Bring that upper body down. One full super person to end here with our super person thing. I'm still keeping my feet pretty wide. 
I'm going to come back to my cactus arms, find that length in the back of my neck. We're doing arms and legs up. We're going to scoop our belly, pelvic tuck, nice deep inhale. Everything comes up. And we're going to hold it here. We got five, four, a three, two, and one. Everything floats down. Let's push yourself back. Find a quick cat, cow, or child's pose. Ease yourself up here. Coming into our little egg position, we're going to unroll ourselves and shake out our head. So, super slow, just kind of lengthen your legs here. Shake out that head, shake out that neck. And then slowly just piece yourself up. And that will do it.